the important thing is that we were helping the sperm and these eggs get together when they wouldn't naturally be able to do that. Essentially, this is where life is created in this room. Pretty much, yes. In the early 80s, IVF success rates averaged 10%. Today, it's well over 30% for women under 35. Although rates fall as you get older to about one in 10 for women in their early 40s. IVF success rates have been rising constantly as new techniques have been introduced and improved. With ICSI, intracytoplasmic sperm injection, sperm can now be injected straight into the egg using a tube the thickness of a hair. Okay, so this is how the IVF happens. This helps when sperm quality is poor and they don't easily penetrate the egg. And the egg still needs to go through the process of accepting the sperm inside. Mm -hmm. But I we see. have improved the odds of it happening by putting them together in the same place. If the egg is fertilised, the cells will begin to divide and the egg becomes an embryo. However, not every embryo created in the lab will lead on to a successful pregnancy. There may be faults in the embryo's genes, problems with the way it develops, or it may fail at the next stage, which is implanting into the woman's womb. But a recent breakthrough has helped increase chances of picking a healthy embryo to transfer into the womb. A time-lapse camera inside the incubator monitors the embryo while it's growing. Because it takes pictures every 10 minutes, you can put a video together and you can see the embryo going on from one to two oh, to wow. three cells to four cells. And it continues the embryo development. This allows the team to check constantly whether the embryos are developing correctly and which ones look like the best bet. But in this lab, it's also possible to see some of the reasons it's more difficult to become pregnant as you get older. As you age, it's not just the egg quantity that drops, it's also the egg quality. Some eggs collapse as soon as the sperm is injected because their membrane is too soft. While others develop a tougher membrane over time, making it difficult to be fertilised as it's harder for the sperm to get in. It's not bursting, so this no. membrane on the top and the bottom is not letting go. This one comes from a woman about my age. So would this egg then be unlikely to fertilise? This one's less likely to fertilise and less likely to lead on to a baby. So. Today, it's hit home how fragile our little eggs are and how they do age. This is the ironic thing, we all feel 10 years younger. You know, 40 is the new 25 or new 30. But inside, we're all still the same as we were 100 years ago. The trend to have babies later means more women are leaving it too late. Their eggs are just unable to be fertilized. And for some, their eggs have virtually run out.